Hey guys, it's Zach. If you clicked on this video, you're probably considering the new A Power 2 battery from Franklin Whole Home and looking to learn a little bit more. So today, we're gonna cover the top 31 most frequently asked questions that you might have for yourself and maybe even some questions you haven't even thought to ask. I do work directly for a Franklin Whole Home certified installer here in Arizona, and there has been a lot of buzz around this new battery option, and hopefully I can help make things simple. I'm also gonna pin a comment down below to add anything that I missed, anything that you all suggest, anything that I need to clarify, or things that may have just changed over time. So comment your questions or suggestions below. And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, my name is Zach. Here we talk about all things solar. If you'd like to support the channel, subscribe for more. I really would appreciate that. And if at any point you find value in this and I helped answer some of the questions you might have, drop me a like on the video to let me know. Number one, some of you who are newer to your solar journey might be wondering, who is Franklin Whole Home? So Franklin Whole Home is an energy storage company that was founded in 2019. They're based in San Jose, California, and currently they sit within the top four for storage manufacturers with over 20,000 units deployed in the past three years. I would say right now after Tesla, I'm seeing more and more installations and proposals using Franklin than any other option on the residential side, and it's certainly for a good reason. Franklin has a great reputation in the industry amongst installers and existing customers, for their quality and system performance. So that's why I'm so excited about having this new A-Power 2 option. They might not be a household name like Tesla, but they are very well respected. Number two, how much energy does this battery store? The usable capacity in the A-Power 2 is 15 kilowatt hours, and this is our battery's fuel tank size. Number three, what's the battery's rated power output? The continuous power output is 10 kilowatts or 10,000 watts, with the peak output sitting at 15 kilowatts or 15,000 watts for 10 seconds and this is our battery's horsepower. Number four, how many of these batteries do I need? This is dependent on your goals, whether it's to maximize grid independence or just maximizing a time of use rate plan. One A Power 2 is suitable for most homes as a starting point, but you might find that your energy needs require two or more to sustain yourself during an outage, an evening, or even an extended on-peak rate. If you are looking at a solar system in excess of 10 kilowatts, I would consider at least quoting out a second battery. Number five, can it back up my entire home? Even a single A Power 2 can back up loads like your lights, your outlets, refrigerator and freezers, AC units, and even your EV charger. However, you'd usually opt to leave heavy loads like the dryer, the oven, and the pool pump to be left out since they would never be used during an actual power outage. Number six, so it can back up my AC unit. The A Power 2 currently has a rated load start capability of 165 LRA. However, Franklin did let me know that this will be updated to 185 here soon. Basically, this is most useful when measuring if it's capable of backing up your AC unit. Your AC unit will have a label on it that you can take a look at that will specify its LRA. This is enough power to start up a five ton AC unit. However, if your AC unit's LRA is above this number for any reason, you could look into adding a soft start that would reduce the AC startup current. Number seven, I have two AC units. Could a single battery back up both units? You would technically need to add up all of your AC units LRA at your home. And if it's at or less than 185 LRA, it can be backed up by a single A power two. If you are over that 185 and you want to stick with just one battery, you can consider options like that soft start or just have it installed with the second AC unit, not a part of your chosen backed up loads. That's normally what I'd recommend. One battery, one AC unit. Number eight, how long will the battery last during a power outage? This is completely dependent on your draw rate during the outage, and it's important to be very energy conscious to preserve your battery. A single unit's 15 kilowatt hours could last anywhere from two to three hours with really heavy use to 24 plus hours with more conservative usage. Incoming solar will help power the home and recharge the battery as well. For example, at a draw rate of 1.5 kilowatts, the 15 kilowatt hour capacity could sustain me for 10 hours, and that's without any incoming solar offsetting my demand or recharging the battery. And here's an analogy that I use. If I were stranded on an island and I had a fully charged cell phone, I wouldn't waste any battery life watching YouTube videos, streaming music, or anything that demanded a lot of energy. I'd preserve this energy for critical needs only. Number nine, let's say an outage occurs, what happens and how will I know? If the grid goes offline, you immediately will get a notification sent from the app. The Franklin system will sense the power outage, automatically transfer the home off grid, 
and within milliseconds restore power in the home. Number 10, how do I monitor my system performance day to day? All of the energy data can be found directly in the Franklin app, which is a really nice app. It recently got a facelift. I highly recommend downloading it from the app store and trying out the demo version for yourself. Another nice perk is that Franklin allows you to directly connect to the hotspot of their system. That way in the event the home's Wi-Fi goes down completely, you can still track your battery status and state of charge. Number 11, we don't ever get power outages. Do we even need a battery? To me, the backup feature is just a cherry on top. The real perk of battery storage like the A-Power is the ability for the battery to store your energy for later either during the nighttime or during peak hours. Obviously, your utility provider's rates will determine if this makes sense. How much do they charge you for electricity? Do you have any time of use rates? Do they have any incentives or VPP programs? And how much do they credit you for your excess solar generation? Number 12, how large of a solar system can I install with one A Power 2? Franklin recommends a max of 12 kilowatts AC per single A Power unit. So if you have more than around 15 kilowatts DC of solar on your roof, then two or more units is probably recommended. Number 13, what inverter system can I use with the A-Power 2? The system is an AC coupled design, so it does not directly integrate with the solar panels themselves. You will need a solar inverter. You can use any third-party inverter system, which is great for those of you who are looking at adding this to your existing system. However, even if you don't have solar yet, the A-Power 2 is still a great option. Just pair it with your inverter system of choice like Enphase. Number 14, so it's possible to install this battery to my existing existing solar setup. Yes, this is actually where Franklin shines. Since they're AC coupled, it can function with any inverter system. Franklin made a battery system that is very flexible with existing solar setups. So generally, adding a battery in as a retrofit is pretty simple and straightforward. Number 15, how long does it take to charge the battery? The A-Power 2 has a charge rate of eight kilowatts. So for it to fully charge, it's 15 kilowatt hour capacity from 0% it would have to charge at the full eight kilowatts for just about two hours. Number 16, other than the batteries, what system components will I need? In addition to your A-Power battery and your solar inverter, you will need to install the system with their A-Gate, which is their intelligent controller or gateway, and this is the brain of the system. It's gonna act as the home's transfer switch in the event of a grid outage. It's gonna sense the power outage on the utility side and then disconnect your home from the grid automatically so it can operate off grid and it does all of this within milliseconds. Your AK will also be home to your solar breaker, smart circuits, and generator input, which we'll talk about here in a bit. In addition to your A-Gate, you may need to install a critical loads panel, which is just basically a dedicated electrical panel that has all of your loads that you want backed up in the event of an outage. Yes, even with partial home backup, your A-Power 2 will still be able to provide energy to all of the loads in your home, only during a grid down scenario will you see that partial element come into play where only your backed up loads will be energized. So during the 99% of time when you're on grid, whether you have partial or whole home backup, your experience is gonna be identical. Number 17, how much does it cost to have it installed? Now, full turnkey installation with the A-Power 2 can be a broad range, but expect the install cost to be from the $14,000 mark to upwards of $20,000 or more, depending on plenty of variables ranging from your existing electrical situation, installation method, whether it's installed with solar or alone as an add-on to your existing system, and your location. Retrofits and add-ons can have a more expensive project scope than a brand new installation. And of course, a battery installation will contain much more than just the battery. Now, if you do wanna have a conversation to see if this battery option makes sense for you, book a discovery call with me and I can directly assist with getting you that information. Links in the description below, it's free zero pressure and takes just 15 minutes. Now you can expect each additional battery after your first one to taper down near the $11,000 range plus or minus. Now Franklin can land on the more premium side of the spectrum, but I feel they back it up with a sweet product. For the most part, this is a permanent installation at the end of the day, so I recommend getting something with a very solid track record of performance like Franklin. Number 18, what is the smart circuits feature that Franklin offers? So smart circuits can be installed within the A gate and that's gonna give you remote control of up to three breakers. Generally, it's gonna be for your heavier loads like the AC unit, pool pump, EV charger, and so on. And this is to give you the ability to control them directly from the Franklin app, turn them off, turn them on, and then shed them during a grid outage or 
during peak hours if you'd like. So basically it works like a mini smart panel and gives you another level of customization if you want it. Keep in mind the smart circuits modules are not included in the A-gate by default. They must be installed by your solar provider and may be an additional cost, so ask them to clarify. Number 19, can the battery be powered directly by a generator? Yes, Franklin has a direct integration where you can recharge the battery during a grid outage from any 240 volt generator, standby or portable, as well as vehicles that have V2L, vehicle to load capability. So if you have a vehicle like the Ford Lightning, Silverado EV, Cybertruck, and so on, these will complement your Franklin setup nicely. However, this is only something that can be used during a grid outage. So its design is to offer a backup energy supply for your battery system. Keep in mind, just like smart circuits, this generator module is not included in the A-gate by default. It's an optional component. Number 20, I've heard of Franklin having Black Start capability. What is that and why is it useful? So Black Start is a nice capability feature that Franklin offers. And basically what this is, is an energy reserve in the battery that can only be used in the event the battery discharges out completely. So grid goes offline, you drain through your battery at night, how will your solar inverter turn on to recharge the battery if there's nothing left? This is where that reserve comes into play. A single kilowatt hour is saved for getting your solar system back online, allowing the battery to recharge itself from solar without any grid support and keeping you up and running. That is black start capability. Keep in mind this bonus kilowatt hour is in addition to the 15 kilowatt hours that is advertised, so you're always going to get the full 15 day to day. Number 21, how big is the A power to? The battery is under four feet tall, about two and a half feet wide and sits off the wall about a foot. So it's not a small battery and you just wanna plan your install location accordingly. Number 22, can it be installed outside? Yes, the A Power 2 is 100% outdoor rated, but I generally prefer a garage installation if possible. If we do install on the exterior, I'd recommend a north facing wall or a shaded area of the home for longevity and performance. The battery does have a listed operating temperature range of minus four degrees Fahrenheit to 131 degrees Fahrenheit and it can handle rain and snowfall. Number 23, how long is the warranty on the battery? Warranty is definitely one of Franklin's key advantages. The A Power 2 warranty is 15 years or 60 megawatt hours of throughput at 70% energy retention. So unlike a warranty based on number of cycles, Franklin went the route where this throughput operates like an odometer on the car. They gave me this analogy. You know how most cars have some warranty like five years, 60,000 miles, for example. That is basically how Franklin's warranty operates, but with units of energy like kilowatt hours rather than mileage. Number 24, how long do you realistically expect the battery to last? With this LFP chemistry, my research shows that the guaranteed 15 years on the warranty to 20 plus years is a realistic life expectancy based on a normal amount of cycles and working conditions. This is mainly due to the durability of this LFP chemistry when it comes to charging and discharging. Like we mentioned, the A Power 2's chemistry is the industry standard lithium iron phosphate, LFP. Franklin does use the highest quality tier one utility grade cells from CATL, which is a big part of their willingness to offer such a solid warranty. Number 25, what happens if the battery fails? In the very unlikely scenario that there is a system failure of some kind, it can be repaired by replacing parts. It's very rare with Franklin that they would need to remove and replace the entire battery system. Franklin said that in their first 12,000 plus batteries deployed, only 12 units needed a full removal and replacement, which just blew my mind. Number 26, are these batteries flammable? While all appliances like batteries can be flammable to some degree, I'm not a battery chemistry expert, but this is a hot top. With that LFP chemistry, it is heavily regarded as a much safer battery chem when it comes to thermal runaway, which creates this fire risk. Plus, there are other safety measures within the battery to make it an extremely safe option for your home. Number 27, in the event I need service, how is Franklin's customer support? Franklin has always had the reputation of strong customer support support. You will typically deal directly with your installer in any service related situation. However, in the event you just want to work with Franklin directly, perhaps to troubleshoot something or just ask a general question. I actually tested this. How fast will their support line pick up my phone call if I were a customer in need? So I tried calling them on two separate occasions and both times I was connected within a minute. It was super quick. They were very friendly 
and I did apologize for wasting their time, but I had to verify it myself. On the installer side, they're always very quick to respond to us and assist with anything that might come up. Number 28, is this A Power 2 backwards compatible with the original A Power systems? Franklin has made a clear emphasis of both backwards and forwards compatibility and taking care of the consumers who have invested in their products. The original A Power X will be compatible with the A Power 2 later this year. For those of you who already have an original A Power setup, and are looking to expand. Number 29, can I program the battery to power my home during peak times to maximize savings? Yes, Franklin has a setting within their app where you can set your operational mode and set which hours are on peak. It will take this information, learn your energy habits, and charge and discharge accordingly to maximize savings with your utility. Number 30, can I just order the equipment online and do my own installation? So Franklin is not a DIY friendly product. They will only allow a certified installer to install and commission the system. And number 31, how can I get a quote for a Franklin A Power 2 system? If you are looking to get a proposal for a Franklin system and see if it makes sense for you, book that discovery call with me and I can directly assist with getting you the information that you need. It's free, there's zero pressure, it takes just 15 minutes. The link's below in the description. Now YouTube thinks you might enjoy either of these videos here on the screen. If you aren't tired of listening to me at this point, check them out. If you haven't already, join the club and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching and we will talk next time.